What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling incredible today. So for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer, and it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So Cancer, the purpose of this channel for those of you who have Cancer in your placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Saturn, wherever Cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. So Cancer, the moon is in Capricorn. And with the moon being in Capricorn, this is an interesting placement for the moon because this is, you know, Capricorn is our, is our opposite sign on the zodiac wheel, Cancer, you know, where we're mom, they're dad. And so, you know, the moon's energy is in detriment in Capricorn, technically. And that's not a bad thing, Cancer. It's just like, it's just, she's in, um, she's not used to working. Like her energy is working like this, you know, because Capricorn energy is very much, um, you know, where Cancer, you know, where the moon energy is more kind of about, you know, the home space, the emotions and whatnot. Now Capricorn energy is about like, you know, your public image, your fame, your career, your achievements, ambitions, you know, it's a, it's a very hard working placement for the moon. And instead of like really, really dealing with emotions, I will say they'll, they're, it's a type of energy that instead of really feeling it out, they'll work it out. So, and when I mean work it out, like they'll work through it. You know what I mean, Cancer? You know, they they'll, that's, that's kind of what the moon and Capricorn kind of energy is. So you may notice that you've been feeling a little more ambitious, a little more maybe patient with things, feeling a little more principled, but, and, you know, kind of more structured. But this is great energy to work with, Cancer. You know, considering what we were talking about yesterday, getting a game plan, figuring stuff out. Ooh, I like this coin toss here. We'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, that's the moon and Capricorn energy, uh, Cancer. So really work with this. You know, think about what it is that you because they really earth energy knows how to really work with this realm and really just manifest in a way that is just oof so but then also she's in a waning gibbous phase or a disseminating moon and this is the, this is the time for like good for meditation and really just like reflection assessing you know what's what what, what we want to do you know how 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 ever has everything gone down you know we're on this yeah this is the reflective half of the of the lunar phases and so this you know evaluate cancer how everything went down you know what what were your great achievements you know the wins you know and then what again what ways could we have brought it you know and then what is it that we want to focus on going into this next cycle here so and then last couple things these readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings, so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations, okay? And then the these decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below, so definitely check that out if you're interested there, Cancer. But let's talk about your general energy of the day, which is the second card of Virgos, which is the coin toss card. And the coin toss, this is a card of choices, either or, be fair, considering pros and cons, fate, equal, two sides to every story, butterfly effect, either way, 50-50 chance, unpredictable, can't decide, and take a chance. And this is interesting, Cancer. You know, if we're at a place right now where where we're, where we're well, like kind of at, because this gives me very much kind of like we're at a crossroads here. You know, if we have some decisions that we need to make or, you know, and we're not sure, can't decide, you know, depending on your situation, Cancer, I, I wouldn't advise maybe f tossing a coin on it. But I mean, if that's, if that resonates with you, you know, toss away, Cancer. But I will say that just depending on this, you know, how big this decision is, if this is going to be like, you know, something potentially, you know, like going to change like, <clears throat> like life changing cancer, 
then this I feel like is definitely a time. Use that pragmatic Capricorn energy. Combine the two energies, you know, because now now we're in both parental energies here. You know, the moon is, you know, like mom and dad are kind of like linked up right now. So it's like, how can we trust our intuition, follow our hearts and make that stuff manifest? You know what I mean? Cancer, you know, your, your water energy is bringing like the, the imagination, the intuition and then earth energy helps just create, make it to life. So figure out, weigh the pros and cons, you know, what are we, you know, and then, and then, cause I, and, and here's the thing, cancer, I will say with this thing, you know, regardless of what you do, you know, whatever choice you make, you know, we, we can't predict everything, you know, we, we can get like a general idea of how things may go, but we just got to kind of sometimes it's like once we make that decision, because maybe this is something, maybe we've made something, we're just like kind of waiting to see what's getting ready to happen. You know, trust that, especially if this is something that's resonating with you, that is going to raise your vibration, you know, that we, you trusted your instincts, Cancer, then I feel like that you'll you'll know the right choice that you know the choice that's right for you at this time and this is something you know just even thinking to the two sides of every story you know if we if this is something where we went to maybe some people for advice for example you know keeping keeping an open mind but also realizing too you know when it's just like I tell you at the beginning, take what resonates with you and leave the rest with them. You know, that's, you know, let's, you know, just be mindful of, you know, letting others like totally influence our decisions here. Cancer It's good to get some good to get some feedback. But, you know, this is this is interesting. You know, let's let's get some terror on this and see how we can work with this energy here. Cancer. And I feel like too, Cancer, just thinking, you know, with whatever this decision is, you know, whether you decide to go with this thing or not, you know, they're going to be there. They're going to be effects regardless. So it's just figuring out, you know, especially if this is something where it's like there may be an, a big opportunity for, you know, but maybe we're a little nervous. Maybe this could be like, you know, maybe taking like a new job. Maybe we have to in order for to take this job, we maybe we need to move across the country, maybe moving around the world. Who, who knows, Cancer? But be be open to be open to who knows cancer success opportunities you know interesting all right i'm with a cancer so you got the king of moons to start here and this i really feel you know trust the the king of moons is he's he's very intuitive but and you know cancer I will say with this, just because, well, getting a couple of things here, Cancer. I really feel like one, you know, intuition, you know, your instincts, God, Buddha, Jesus, higher self, you know, however we connect to the source, that's going to be your biggest indicator of where of what's of where to guide you you know so i really meditation you know maybe going for a walk maybe listening to maybe some some healing music or getting by some water some fire anything that can get you in like a zen place maybe maybe you're doing some art you know whatever gets you in that meditative state but really listening to those signals because the king of moons he's like emotional wisdom cancer you know and that's that's something that i feel like is our expertise emotional wisdom really feeling this stuff you know because i feel like our because because we're so sensitive to the energies those are great indicators of where to go but i also feel with this cancer if we're not sure maybe we're getting a lot of mixed signals maybe we're feeling nervous we're feel you know that you know you're experiencing whatever emotions you might be feeling cancer I say if we're going to out, you know, reach out, I just, you know, not to say that people are going to, you know, take advantage or anything of you, but just being mindful, you know, I'd say, especially if this is something big, talk to those you really trust. If you, you know, get like a good sounding board, someone who's going to be like, give you like constructive criticism, you know, like, well, it's like, well, not just going to like shoot you down. It's like, well, hey, on this side, you know, I see where this could happen. This here's some good stuff that can happen. Here's some not so good things that might happen, you know, and then sleep on it, cancer. And this is something too, I feel like that, if you can cancer, you know, don't try to rush into this thing. You know, if like just thinking, for example, if this is like a, maybe some of us have gotten a job offer and we're, we're weighing the options. 
You know, that's something, don't feel like that you have to rush this thing. If you have that opportunity, and if even if you don't, you know, if, if someone tries to rush you through this thing and, you, and that doesn't feel right for you, then trust that cancer. Don't feel like that you've missed out on opportunities because I don't feel like when we're really following our heart cancer, we don't miss out on the opportunities that are meant for us. You know, if anything, this was this could have just been just like a little, little, little task here, getting your energy set up for the next best thing. So let's see what else we got. Interesting. You got the two of moons in reverse here, Cancer. That's one of our cards. And really, you know, that for me, two of moons is a really kind of a strong card of really connecting with higher self and, you know, really establishing that that oneness with with your with your energies. And because even if you I don't know if you can see here, these hands, they have the they have Gemini energy on here you know, the Gemini symbol. And that just reminded me of the lovers. And that's like a divine connection. This is probably the, the minor arcana, or for me, like a really close version of the lovers, you know, as far as um, listening to your intuition. This is kind of like listening to like those everyday type of instincts, Cancer, and really, really connecting with yourself, you know, making it more of a point to really be present and just kind of really study yourself and figure out your, figure out your energies, okay? So let's see what else we got. Interesting. Now we got two of stars upright, and I'm with that, Cancer. And this is, again, you got a lot of twos here. So I really feel like this is really establishing that connection between you and higher self. Or if this is something, you know, maybe this is something like an opportunity that, just thinking with these twos, maybe someone has... This could be like maybe a, a business partner or something along those lines. Maybe they've presented you with an option, Cancer, and you're just like... Is this going to work? You know, like if you're if you're weighing the pros and cons, you know, really, again, I feel like you just really listen to what your gut is saying. And then whatever the out, you know, whatever happens, cancer, figure out how to make this thing work for you, because this the the two of pentacles, this is this is Jupiter in Capricorn. And so if we put in this, you know, whatever decision we make, Cancer, you know, if we put in this work, I feel like, you know, the reward will come, you know, whatever, whatever happens, you know, but it's just figure, it's really, it's figuring out what, what feels right, you know, what, what makes sense for you at this time and then, and then trust that Cancer, know that that's going to get you to where you need to be. Now let's get some challenges and see what's going on with the, what, what might be some, uh, yeah, challenges worth working with this energy. Because I get that kind of cancer, you know, for there's there's that uncertainty of just like, especially with where kind of where the energies are at, it's just like, what well, is this? This is a good idea. Should I invest in this? Blah, blah, blah. You know. But it really is a very intuitive time as well, Cancer, because, you know, thinking the twos, the twos are represented too by our, our ruler, the high, the high priestess, so... Yeah, this is going to be an, a very, very time, a good time to really trust your your intuition. So, both. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here, Cancer. There's that new moon again, Knight of Swords, and then we oh, Cancer. <laughs> we were we we were feeling like pimps yesterday, and now we're now we're we're, we're having some doubts here, Cancer, and that's in Cancer. That's to be expected, you know, especially when we're thinking about you know, when we feel like we're at this, like almost like at a precipice, you know, like this, if whatever the situation is looking like here, you know, we start to thinking about our security, you know, is this how this is going to affect our whole routine? You know, what is this? What is all of this looking like here? But cancer, I do feel like that this is something where. If we haven't made this decision yet, or, you know, if this hasn't been presented to us, or, you know, if we're wherever, if we haven't already made this decision, Cancer, meditate on this. Figure, figure out, do some, do some research, you know, this Knight of Swords, figure out what you're getting into, you know, and this, this could also be Cancer that 
just thinking with this with this two of moons here being in reverse if we're doing something that let's say with like right now if we're if we're at a place where let's say we don't like um because this doesn't even necessarily have to be with like a job cancer but that's just the example that's kind of popping in my head if we're not happy with like if we're not feeling harmonious with our job cancer you know that this isn't working this could also be cancer saying like maybe taking a chance on a new opportunity if we don't like like our company maybe maybe branching out putting our resume out there just to see see what's happening you know and that's in cancer, if that's something we're thinking about as far as like, you know, maybe socializing or like, you know, like maybe doing some like interviews and things like that. Depending on when you're watching this, Venus is going to be moving into Gemini on uh, tomorrow, the or actually today when this came out, actually on the 11th. G Gemini just got, or uh, Venus, I think, just got into Gemini. And with that, that's very, you're, 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 your communication is in empress mode right now. You know, you're gonna be very charming, very just like very, very social energy. You know, it's a great time, very abundant, or at least it can be. But, you know, it, it can also, even now I'm just even really thinking about that too, Cancer. This can also be where we do wanna be careful about making like really quick decisions, you know, really doing your research, you know, with, with whatever is going down here, you know, being, be, being, being mindful of that, okay? But, this could be, I do, I, this could be maybe for some others. I feel like maybe there's something that this energy is inviting us to, to take a chance to maybe try a, you know, this could even be, just thinking with the Knight of Swords, this is Aquarius energy, but this could be something too, maybe thinking about if someone's been trying to hit us up as far as like networking, you know, maybe if we're not thinking about how do I want to put this? Just be open to like partnering up with people as well. This doesn't even necessarily have to be like a like a side business or anything. Just like working with others in general and just like because you never know cancer. You may not have gone in, you know, you could start up like an art group, for example, and you know, just something for like the community. And the next thing you know, you, you might do like a neighborhood showing and then who, you know, who knows where that, you know, someone might, you never know cancer. I'm just, you just be be open to whatever possibilities are going to happen wherever fate might may guide you here there's I feel like there's a lot going on here cancer so just um yeah work work with this energy you know something very kingly here so you're about to get uh I feel like a level up's getting ready to have, like abundance is coming your way, Cancer. And I'm not trying to be like where it's like, uh, cause come on, King of Pentacles two days in a row. That's uh, that's saying a lot there. That's a good person to have want to have following you around, Cancer. <laughs> Let's get some more on this though. Interesting. All right, we got the seven of moons here. Oh, you know what, Cancer? I'm so, I just realized I'm seeing the Roman numerals on this card. That was a, that's a number two. That's not Gemini energy. But I, we brought it up for a reason. It's, it's, it's our card, Cancer. This is Venus and Cancer. But I thought that was Gemini signal for a second. We're, let's move it on. <laughs> but you got the seven of moons in reverse here, Cancer. And... You know, I feel like with this, this is saying, you know, just to be, again, to weigh what opportunities could possibly come out of this, you know, this choice that you have to make, you know, and if this is, if it's going to be one of those things where it's like, it's not going to affect you either way, but let's say if we have like, I don't know, cancer, if there's a, just an opportunity for something new, I feel like be open to to some newness you know not that to say like if this is like a new job you don't have to quit your job or anything but just be open to like just some new opportunities this could be maybe like just thinking with Virgo being of service you know this could be maybe like a volunteering opportunity maybe someone's just like hey cancer we're doing like a you know a neighborhood a commute cleanup or something are you interested you know and because who knows maybe you go to this thing you might run into a king of pentacles who wants to pitch you something or blah blah you know that who knows, Cancer? Fate is fate is uh, interesting like that. You know these effects. You know when we start following those signs. You know I'm just getting something about your intuition, Cancer, is really important. I feel like during this time, I feel like it's going to lead you somewhere really cool that we may meet up with someone possibly. Maybe maybe a Capricorn energy, maybe a Virgo, Virgo, Leo. You know Pisces, Aquarius energy. But who knows, Cancer? 
All right, let's get some advice from Saturn. Yeah, very interesting, Cancer. This yeah, feels very, very intuitive here. We got some more people here. Let's see what's going down here. Got the Queen of Wands. Oh, and then we got the nine. Oh, no. Interesting, Cancer. It's like everything's like switching a little bit because now we got nine of wands upright here. And then we got queen of wands in reverse. And, you know, Cancer, I feel like that if this is something that, because maybe we've, how do I want to put this? Maybe this is something where, hmm, you know, Cancer, what I'm getting with this Queen of Wands, when it comes to this decision that you need to make, don't be concerned or, you know, don't be worried that you're not going to be able to figure this thing out because the Queen of Wands, she is the type that when she's going to do something, she's just like, it's, if she really doesn't, like if it's something that really excites her, she doesn't really think once about it. It's kind of like, she's just like, oh, okay, let's, 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 let's start, let's start getting to work. You know, she's the type that I'm going to, she's going to figure out this thing as she goes. But I will say, you know, cancer, just don't, I feel like don't be afraid to, to give this thing a try. You know, if we're, if we're kind of at this, at this crossroads here right now and, and be patient, I feel like with this, with this energy, try not to rush this, this experience, if that makes sense. Cause maybe some of us might be feeling kind of antsy, you know, maybe we start doubting ourselves, you know, it, it gets us in a weird place. You know, once you've made the decision cancer, just kind of sit on this thing, get, get ready because I feel like you're going to need this energy, you know, don't like, you know, let's keep like getting ourselves in the mindset of just like, all right, you know, this, the decision has been made, you know, like there's a, you know, we're, we're just, we're going, there's only forward from here now, cancer, you know, so let's get our, <clears throat> let's get our head and our heart lined up here. Let's figure out what the, what the game plan's going to be. And let's, 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 let's get to work. But I do, I do feel like things, something's going to start Something's on the horizon here, Cancer. Well, let's let's see let's see what else is is cooking up here. And I will say, Cancer, just thinking about how the King of Stars and the Queen of Wands is in reverse here. If this is something where you know, like someone's presented you with an opportunity again, don't feel like that people like that. Don't let people feel like that they're rushing you or, you know, let them let them rush you or anything like this is like, you know, cancer, you got to wait for you don't decide right now. Like you're you're you're, you're going to your life will be over. You're going to miss out on this thing and nothing will ever come. Up. Of course, cancer, something will always come along uh, along again. You know, like I was saying yesterday, we really don't we don't really we don't miss out on what is meant for us cancer on this journey. So, yeah, just thinking with those, you know, just when we're when we're in, you know, collaborating, just again, you know, trust your instincts. You know, if we, we may want to work with this knight, this knight of swords, king of moons, we might, we might keep rock with them for a little bit. But if we got a king of pentacles in reverse, queen of wands in reverse energy, you know, just be mindful of that cancer. Cause king of stars could almost give me like a type that once in reverse would give me like a type that would have you compromise your 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 um your standards i guess or your um integrity to achieve like a, an end game you know just to get like money or something along those lines you know but oh more people here cancer but you know just you got the page of stars up right here cancer <sighs> All right, Cancer, hold on. We're going to switch back over. Last thing with this. This almost feels like to me, Cancer, this could be something too that if we've been feeling that there hasn't been anything that's been coming our way lately. Maybe things have gotten a little stale. Maybe we're looking to spice things up, you know, maybe a little bit. I feel like with this page of stars, 
you know, this is a, gr a great card for earth energy. It's all about manifestation. When you think about the pentacles, you know, that's, a, you know, part of their thing is that, that, that creation cancer. And this could also be, you know, maybe this is like making a new opportunity for you and figuring out, you know, what, what do you want to do next? What does that look like? Because, you know, sometimes if, you know, when if you kind of got things been kind of coasting for a while, been kind of living kind of easy and there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes cancer in order to get more growth, you know, once you've gotten that thing kind of settled there, you know, you've been feeling good, you know, got your we've we've mastered this, this skill. You know, we've gotten this real proficient here. You know, sometimes we got to throw a little. Um, you know, take a chance, you know, throw in a little uh, little risk, you know, and a calculated risk, Cancer, because that's Capricorn energy. They're, they're very much, they're going to calculate, you know, what's going to be the most bang for their buck, you know, how's this going to work out in the long term. But, you know, that's something, Cancer, don't be afraid to create your own opportunities to... Um, because maybe this is something too, maybe if we've been sitting on an idea, maybe, and if, you know, we've, we've been trying to pitch it to a queen of wands, king of stars, and we feel like, like they're not responding, then again, maybe we need to figure out how we can get this thing off the ground. You know, whatever it is that you're looking, you know, however this may be applying cancer, you know, there's a whole lot of, whole lot of stuff going on here, so meditate on this you know maybe if we got a lot of chatter going down you know and we're not sure you know take some quiet time and just figure find your energy cancer you know just rem remember that you know just because of how receptive we are to the energies you know don't just be mindful okay but I think I'm gonna leave that there, Cancer. I hope that made sense. This was an this was an interesting, you know, when we start talking about fate and like, you know, what are our options, you know, how this is gonna look, everything, you know, it's even when we don't make a decision, Cancer, you know, there there's things still happen, you know, like, you know, there's still there's a result that's gonna happen with that. But this is interesting. But if you're you know, something resonates with you, give it a thumbs up just to show, you know, other Cancerians that Life can be kind of tricky sometimes, you know, when, when it comes to like, you know, opportunities and things, you know, but sometimes we gotta, gotta seize the cancer, you know, just thinking about Capricorn and, you know, who knows what kind of fame, fortune, prestige, whatever. And it doesn't have to be, you, know, you, you might not be coming famous cancer, but at least feeling at your best, you know, feeling regal and feeling just like in your king of moons, king of stars, queen of wands, just in that royal energy. So, because that's a pretty, pretty solid flush here that you got going down. But, and then share this cancer. If you know someone who might be kind of like at this place, you know, maybe they're trying to like, they're about to, they're tossing a coin on it right now with life decisions, which again, there's, you know, however you connect to the source but you know let's um again just be mindful you know i would never question how 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 you how you how you'd make your decisions cancer but know that there there's an effect to everything so and then if you haven't already subscribe and then you can hit that notify uh, and then if you want like um like you know personalized uh, notifications or things you know hit that bell button and then social media, I've got some stuff. i got to hit up a King of Pentacles here and Queen of Wands and get some social media stuff figured out. But um, I am on this app, Insight Timer, and it's a meditation app, free app. And I created a group on there called Zodiacs Raising the Vibration. And it's just a group that... I, I, right now I just drop like positive affirmations every day. So if you need just like a little pick me up while you're trying to figure this thing out, you know, something to get your, you get your mind in that, um, in that abundant headspace, you know, they're like, okay, I made this decision. I trust my inner guidance, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever that's looking like, it's all in there for you. Cancer, if you just need to pick me up. But if you know, if you're on the other end of this and you've learned, gotten some nuggets of wisdom along the way, add it to the group too. You know, anything to help us all, you know, the soul tribe along this journey. And the group, name of that group, I don't know if I even mentioned it it's zodiacs raising the vibration and again that's on the app insight timer so check that out cancer and then last thing uh check your sun your moon your rising your your mercury your venus your mars those are your personal planets cancer you can check your saturn like those are getting more kind of your outer planet it's going to be more kind of like a, something you share amongst a generation but good to know you know what areas you may be restricted and what we need to work on you know what limitations have been putting on us so that we can work on that to grow so check that out cancer Time Passages is a great app for that. I, I, good, I feel like good for any level of wherever, you know, astrology. Um, oh, but I actually was thinking about this, Cancer. If you're curious about um, stuff for like, 
the lunar cycles and stuff. There's one for, there's an app, oh, Moon Phase. It's, a, it's got a black, black background and it's got like a white crescent moon. But I've been, I, I love them. Like they're, it's fantastic. Like that's, they, it's, it's really fantastic. I'll let you know about when the phases are gonna hit their peak. It's dope. I'm gonna include, I got, a, got some work to do on there, but I'm gonna start editing the description box to add some of these apps that I like using. So check that out if you're interested in cancer. Did I tell you where to go? Check out my other channel, Alchemist 8. You know, just so many tools. I'm like, we're just throwing at you, Cancer. And um, on that channel, I do weekly videos, and then I do a monthly planetary video every time the sun changes signs. So super fun time. All that housekeeping, though, down in the description box below. But let me get you surprise cards here so I can get you out of here. Just been just a chatting. And I, I'm with that, Cancer. You got the Five of Swords here. And that's interesting. Okay, and I'll get your, while well, we shuffle for your Oracle card, with the Five of Swords, when we're on this, when we're thinking about these choices and decisions that we have to make cancer, sometimes we can get to this place where, you know, we're looking at how other people are getting through these journeys and we, we could think like, am I doing this right? You know, what, what am I? Um, <clears throat> What are they doing that I'm not, you know, if, if we're, if we're, you know, comparing ourselves. And I say, you know, just with the Five of Swords, be, be mindful of that. You know, when we're talking about that, you know, comparing our journeys and our growth, you know, as far as what chances that we take and whatnot. But I also feel like this too, for some of us, if we're in a place where we're, we're thinking about maybe working with people or, you know, just like, just any sort of like collaborative things, you know. Be, I feel like being open to that, you know, Venus in Aquarius, you know, that's what the Five of Swords is, Venus in Aquarius is very much about the collective, you know, it's, it's, you know, how do we bring abundance to everyone, so I'm just, it's interesting, Cancer, but be, be open to that, and then you got the, for your Oracle cards, you got the hands here, and you know, this hands card, sometimes I just, this feels to me like, you know, when we're, when we're in this place of like, we've made these decisions and we're just kind of like at the, at the mercy of like higher selves and, you know, the getting into that place of surrender. I feel like the hands is saying, you know, to let go of things that like, like letting go of needing something tangible to make sense, mm -hmm. cancer, trust in the, trust in your intuition, trust in the, in the divine, you know, it's a balance. Thinking about Capricorn, that's very much, very, you know, Capricorn kind of cancer energy. Cancer, we're all intuitive cancer, but compared to, you know, Capricorn's intuitive in a, in that more material, tangible type of sense. They can manifest stuff, you know, they're gems. <laughs> they're making gems where we sense the gems. You know, we feel the energies around, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's different, but you know, I really feel like trusting that that instinct and seeing where letting that guide your choices, you know, and letting that really find finding that balance cancer, you know, and I just I feel like that you can you're just going to be able to manifest what you what your your dreams and there's just like I feel like just new something abundance getting ready to happen here cancer. So just just brace yourself i'm excited because come on the second day of the new moon here we're we're meditating like all oh, get out here this is like what do you this new moon what do you want to manifest <laughs> what do you want to manifest cancer so let's get hands on let's get them hands to work because <laughs> it's what you manifest and i'm with it okay cancer i'm gonna get you out of here so stay safe out there figure this stuff out and then you know just with all this socializing you know cancer keep a clear head you know just really really take a moment and sit down and think about where we're going okay you keep eyes on the moon you know because the moon's trying to the moon's trying to guide you cancer trust that intuition you know listen to those instincts and i will catch you on the next one tomorrow